Grameen Foundation's mission is to enable the poor to create a world without poverty. More than 2 billion people live on less than $2 per day. We believe that the most powerful resource for reducing poverty is actually the poor themselves. My years of living in Bangladesh taught me that they are not merely passive recipients of handouts. Most of them have finely honed skills developed in the fight to survive. They know how to fish, grow food, sew clothing, and treat illnesses using very basic technologies and limited resources. We help them get financing and information to turn those existing skills into pathways to a poverty-free life. Grameen Foundation works directly with the poor and through partners to do two things. First, we help poor families get access to the financial services needed to start and expand small businesses and to meet other life needs, such as educating their children. We focus on ensuring that services meet their needs and are delivered efficiently, conveniently, and safely. We also use information technology to accelerate poverty reduction globally. We develop mobile-based applications that allow poor people to farm more productively, grow their businesses, take charge of their health, and educate their children. Our other applications enable other organizations that serve the poor to operate more efficiently and measure their results quickly and accurately so they can continuously improve their effectiveness. Grameen Foundation enlists the poor themselves, leveraging their underappreciated skills and their desire to improve their lives. We also apply efficient business-like approaches to our work. We take advantage of the rapid spread of mobile phones in developing countries to deliver life-changing information to the poor at a very low cost by developing applications and enlisting the support of local people to share them. We've also created a program to make it less difficult and cheaper for micro-lending organizations to get the capital they need to serve poor borrowers. We've channeled more than $200 million to deserving organizations by simply providing loan guarantees to local banks. Grameen Foundation is effective because we treat the poor as our active partners in developing solutions rather than as passive recipients. We combine this insight with our use of technology and our willingness to measure results and learn. Our reserve corps of more than 15,000 highly skilled volunteers are also a great source of new ideas and energy and allows us to maximize each dollar we spend. Grameen Foundation measures success by how many people our strategies reach and how we are changing their lives. We build our solutions so they can reach millions of families and really move the dial on poverty globally. For example, we were part of a successful global effort to scale up microfinance to reach tens of millions of families, and we see poverty rates falling fastest in the countries that rolled out microfinance most rapidly. We believe poverty-fighting organizations should measure their outcomes, not just their outputs. And so we developed the Progress Out of Poverty Index. It's an easy-to-use survey tool, which is now the industry standard. Grameen Foundation is inspired by the work of the Nobel Prize-winning Grameen Bank and its founder, Mohammed Yunus, and the amazing things that they have done in Bangladesh. But it's important that people understand that we are a separate organization that works globally to apply the best ideas that have emerged in Bangladesh on a global scale. Because of our history, many people associate Grameen Foundation only with microcredit and microfinance. In fact, for many years, we've been working to harness the information technology revolution as a poverty reduction accelerator and have had some tremendous successes. We are proud to have set and achieved ambitious goals for reducing poverty. Using loan guarantees, we supported more than $200 million in funding to microfinance institutions, generating more than 1.2 million microloans to poor families in 12 countries. Our community knowledge worker program in South America and Africa has delivered information about farming best practices to more than 169,000 rural farmers. Research shows that many are adopting improved practices and earning more from farming. We work with local financial institutions to help 800,000 low-income people in India, the Philippines, and Ethiopia open up savings accounts. 
and our mobile midwife program has also provided vital maternal and infant health information to 23,000 women in Ghana. Like other nonprofits, Grameen Foundation has struggled to raise the funds it needs to apply successful programs, especially during economic downturns. We have faced problems in countries that were going through upheavals, including civil war, and dealt with governments that are inefficient and corrupt. We have also faced issues with attracting and retaining world-class talent because we can't match the salaries that they could earn in the private sector. However, we have found ways to address challenges, drawing strength from the resourcefulness of the poor themselves whenever we get discouraged. If we had more resources, particularly financial resources we could use at our full discretion, we could apply some of our most effective strategies on a much broader scale. There are quite a few countries that we believe would be very ripe for our approaches to delivering technology-enabled financial services, high-impact agricultural extension using cell phones, and improving health delivery systems in remote areas. With more resources, Grameen Foundation could extend its financial services work beyond credit and savings to include microinsurance and provide those services in more remote areas. We could focus on additional types of crops and livestock in our mobile agricultural work and develop mobile health solutions beyond maternal and child health and HIV AIDS treatment and prevention. We could also apply our precision monitoring of poverty reduction outcomes to many other poverty fighting strategies being used around the world. 